Hello everybody, this is a real quick uh, pre-episode commentary thing, really quick. Um, welcome back to Final Fantasy XII. It has been about four months or so since I've played it. Uh, to be fair, this video is um, from right before I uh, everything changed for me, um, and which is one of the reasons it's been kind of hard to uh, open up again. Um, because it's before I lost my dog and, uh, bef you know, before becoming a nomad and everything, but mostly it's just really difficult for me to do things that I was doing right before I had to put him down. Um, so this has been difficult. <laughs> I also was streaming Dragon Age 2 before everything happened and I opened that up the other day and finished, I was almost done with it. I was almost done with Act 3 and I finally finished that the other day, so I'm feeling like I can a little better do things, um, but it's still a little difficult. But this video is b before everything, b before now, I guess, um, from four months ago. Um, the other thing is that now that I am living in a hotel for work, which hopefully I'll put out a video before that, this explaining that, but I'm living in a hotel for work for currently, so I'm hoping to open this back up again. Work is a little bit uh, sketchy right now, so I'm hoping I'll be here for a few months, but uh, we'll see. Um, anyway, I would like to start this series back up again consistently, uploading on the every other uh, day from Mass Effect. Um, we'll see how that goes. Uh, cause Mass Effect has the priority, but I've been really wanting to play this again. I've really missed it, so, um, but it's, it's been hard to think about doing it, um, in a way, right? You know, I, it, maybe it's a little silly, but for me it's been a little difficult to think about doing, um, but I think, I think I can start tiptoeing my way back into it again because I have missed it, um, so, uh, Sorry for the long intro, but thank you all for listening and for waiting. If you watch this, um, I really appreciate it. I do really like Final Fantasy XII. Have I said fourteen this whole time? I hope not. Um, anyway, after this video will be fine, but the videos after don't expect me to be very good at the combat again because I will have completely forgotten everything. So, thank you all again, and the real intro for the video will start up in a second. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Final Fantasy XII, where a lot just happened. I knew he's like, I'll talk to my dad, and I, I didn't even think, I actually honestly didn't even think the Emperor was gonna die, I just thought the Emperor was gonna, like, decide to choose violence instead, but nope, he did, but he chose to let his son have his own father's blood on his hands, just to protect wee baby Larsa, because everybody thinks Larsa needs protecting, which to be fair, he is young. But, I'm sort of naive, I think. Like, not naive. He's very intelligent, right? But he's just... Um... I don't know. Always hopes... Like, I think he's not an idiot. He just... There's the Viera. Like, I'm not saying it right. I'm doing this rambling, but... I think he wants the best for the world and tries to see the best in the world. And then when it slams him in the face, he's like, oh... <laughs> Oh, okay, that's an interesting thing to start off saying. Then why are you here? Also, if there's a Viera here and you're just chatting to this human, she's like, she's like, oh, humans have weak hearts. Don't talk to me. I'm afraid I'll get a weak heart too. I'm like, oh yeah, you're afraid you'll fall in love? Is that what it is? A worthy fear. But maybe don't hang out near humans then. <laughs> this place isn't as isolated as I think you were expecting. Well, now we need to figure out what to do. What's Ash want to do? Oh, that's right. I don't know. I don't know why I forgot that most important part. We have to go through the rift. Okay, time to go shopping. That's what that's what we have to do. Let me just find the shops. How did they get food supplies up here? Like, did they grow their own? It seems pretty desolate. 
Unless you had food that was like specifically designed to work up here. Oh. Sure. Um, yeah, let's get the rift map. not gonna show me. That's fine. You have money? What are you? Wow. Maybe I should give... I mean, her bow she's got is doing a lot better, but maybe I should give her a heavy weapon to go with her What was it? The the beefier class I gave her. Oh man, I'm tempted to give. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll give her a crossbow. Apparently, she can use crossbows. <laughs> Oh, I did get the sledgehammer for friggin' well, I can't remember anybody's names all of a sudden. I'm so sorry. I'm I'm the actual worst Fran. And then Ash got a new staff. <laughs> Hang on, I wanna give Pinello. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. On hit regen. Alright, but but hear me out. Let's try you with a recurve crossbow. Oh, her magic power. Oh, it doesn't go down that far. Please equip proper onion bolts. Do does that unlimited? I sure hope it is. Oh, I need to go look at. Okay, I need to get armor and stuff too. Actually, what I need is stuffs. Oh, you don't have stuffs. Like, he doesn't have, um, potions and stuff. Got white magic 9 and 11. And a couple other things, but they aren't as cool. These look cool. Got Thunder and Blip. I can't. I don't actually have the spells yet, but I have the capability now. <laughs> I've unlocked them. The Aroga and Silence. Again, I assume they're gonna be like these are like the ones that are like the over large areas and are just targeted at one individual. That's gonna be dope. And needles. I don't know where I'm gonna buy that, but we can do that. On his Bushido route. I don't even remember what most of those do. I'm a little worried. Sure. Can, can attain it to three quickening licenses from those available on the board. That one sounds cool. Yay! Katana! Oh yeah. Reducing action time is always nice. Ooh, cast a random black magic. I still need to unlock it, but that'll be cool to have. I also unlocked tier 5 heavy armor. And this. Spears 2 and 4, I guess, for now. Why? This one was 100 and this one was 240. I'm not sure why. 
Because it's not an ability, it's just like unlocking a weapon type. Ooh, that's cool. Oh yeah, I can get it. Render one foe vulnerable to an additional element. Now I just need to go find these spells somewhere. Let's see, we, we were doing her archery stuff, but now I've given her some dope weapons. So... Some dope uh, physical weapons, I guess. Can she? I thought these were like two-handed weapons. So can she have a shield equipped at the same time? Because I have shields unlocked for her. I just don't know. And sanguine shield. Addle. That'd be good. Once I find it, eventually. A ribbon. Wither. Yes. Give me. Whip kick. Oh, that's gonna be dope. enough for now. Oh, whose gambits was I looking at? Gambit's scary. I'm not doing it right now. Let's just see if I can buy any potions. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you only have this stuff. Cool. Move confuse. Get a couple of these. I don't have a spell for them. being overly cautious on a lot of this because I have spells to counteract most of this ooh do I have that though I don't know if I do I do have that I think I do have this now. I don't know why I did that though, because everything up here I assume is going to be resistant to ice. like the wolves were were weak to thunder I don't know if I have that capability yet but sure all right that's like a solid 20 some minutes doing that getting prepped Down we go. I assume I have to go through the little, you know, area I've already been through. And the still shrine in Mirim. Pyramid room. What's over there? We just need to go due south. Let's see really quick. Yeah, both Bosch and Fran still need to level up. Oh, dang. I can't have a fourth person now, can I? I'll actually take Ash out and bring Pinello because I need us to survive. Oh, and 
I need to... Give her a shield. Jeez, she does so much damage with that little. She just kind of like wields it. She's like, bam! Like it's a toy. But it's a one handed sledgehammer, apparently, because those exist. She's using the crossbow now, that's right. Oh, and he's got his two his two bars, his two orange bars to indicate his uh his two abilities that he has that we can toggle between. This is the new area. So my plan is, unless I feel like looking up the level I need for an area, is to just walk through until I hit a wall, and then go, okay, time to level up. So I'm just gonna try to walk through as best I can. And if I get stopped by creatures, then I'll know I need to level up more. This does help keep Pinello in the back. By giving her a crossbow, that was one of the reasons I, well, the, besides, like, wanting something different. Ooh, an elfin bow. I think I already had one of those. Besides just kind of wanting to, like, you know, try something different, um, keeping her further in the back is better as a support player. <laughs> I mean, she had a staff, she would try to melee people with it. I'm pretty sure Fran's doing more damage than Bosch is right now. <laughs> Lots of useful stuff out here. Makes me worried. Nine? Thought it was gonna be aggressive. It looks like a like an ice spirit. Oh, that's cool. It looks like those floating like uh, lightning balls that would sometimes try to kill me. In different parts of the region. I assumed it was gonna one shot me. She does in, like, the vast majority of its health now. Do 
Do I have a better sword for my, my, my poor guy here? Keep an eye out. He's got a good sword. Oh, we're on the right track. I saw I lied. I've actually kind of been going in a big circle. <laughs> I basically visited everywhere. <laughs> I just wanted to see really quick if there was anything important. Just some XP! Which is always good. Oh, that looks like something. Oh, dang. They built on such a grandiose scale, it's crazy. Like, everything in this game is built by, like, by, like, giants or something. People who enjoyed very long walks through architecture and giving their stonemasons plenty, plenty of fun to carve. Plenty of room for their sculpting of the stone. It's like tapestry patterns on the walls, but they're like, you know. This isn't a sword, is it? Okay, <laughs> I was like, that that would be uh, that would be crazy. like to just have it there in the open no cutscene or anything it's just like and now you have the sword move on i'm like well this part got cut during development Battle harness is a an accessory that, when attacked, automatically counter with weapon in hand. That's cool. Let's do that. For him. Get yourself a battle harness, boy. I thought it was like a chess piece. I'm gonna be real with you. It's not treasure. An ice shield. He already has an ice shield, actually. But let's see, I can maybe give it to... Oh. I think Fran can have an ice shield? Yeah. Is it... Hmm. So it does essentially the same, like, protection or whatever. It's just, uh, also has half damage. So. That's cool. I can work with that. We are in the Miriam zone. Their stone floors are reflective. I don't think it's like there's water on the floor. That's odd. The legendary tells us the Sword of Kings was never meant to be used for the base uh, base purpose of spilling blood. Oh, the base spilling of blood. Thank you. Thank you on these words. I'm like, thank ye. Thank ye on these words. Their own accord with the doors part for one with the blessing of the Grand Kiltias. Graceful, merciful father, watch over you. The king gave the gift. King, sword, dynasty king. Alright, shall we go in? Ancient door. We'll just pretend that we have friggin' 
the princess whose name I all, I can't remember anybody's name off Ash. <laughs> My brain is not with it today. Ooh. It's gonna we're gonna have to go through a whole thing. A whole thing. It couldn't just be easy. It's another massive dungeon with little bats in it. Dragon dragonling bats. Yeah. Yeah, cease with that. They're so cool. Look at that. Like nothing. Okay, I was gonna say nothing ever in the history of ever has been built that big, and then I was like pyramids. <laughs> And like, by history of ever, I mean like, you know, in ancient times, prehistoric. Even historic, I guess. It's only modern, really, that we're like, I mean, I'm talking like, you know, the big humongo skyscrapers, but like, freaking tons of like, South American cultures, Aztec, Inca, Maya, they had like, massive structures that people thought were hills in modern times. It turns out most of the hills down there are freaking <laughs> temples <laughs> hidden under freaking trees, you know? China and stuff. Anyway, this is unnecessarily big, though, <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so this whole place is unnecessarily big, but I love it. The words you knew have been left by King Wraithwall. Treaty seeker, relic held this pedestal embrace. Attach it. Is it? Am I supposed to put the sword in there? Ah! Okay, are you ghosts or are you. Are you actual zombies? Holy moly, they're poison. Ow! Whoa! Frick. Okay, I get it. Let me do... Let's see if I can get this up. Nope! Alright, fine. Just end me. <laughs> I won't touch it again. <laughs> I'm sorry, Wraithwall. I looked at it and it looked like something that I should probably put the sword into. Even though it's not a killing sword. Oh, wait, I forgot. Oh. <laughs> okay. Wait. I forget that they're nice to you, air quotes, and make you friggin'. We're only attacking. Okay, hang on. We've got... Should be alright. Yeah. It's like they're weak to purity or whatever, and I'm like, cool, I think they're probably also weak to fire. <laughs> alright, uh, fam squad. <laughs> I guess it was about time for me to bring Bothier out anyway. Why not? We'll just bring the squad out. But first, I'm gonna have to do the tedious thing of bringing people back to life. Methicide bear, embracer of dawn's light, I summon you, I'm gonna touch it. Okay. Figures, it's one of those, when you get to the, I just, I just came to the other end of the zone. Of this main zone. It's like, I, there's like these doors that are down the stairs on each side. That will progress things, but at least it's circling things for us with, you know, little markers, little icon markers. That waypoint will probably open up once I get to the end of the dungeon, and it'll zoop me back here, which will be nice. Also, who builds stairs this steep? Like, what the heck? 
the door, oh, the door, oh, uh, maybe this is not as easy or as straightforward as I was thinking it was gonna be. Maybe I need to be Ash and I can touch the, uh, pedestal? I'll try the other door. In the words left by King Wraithwall in time of strife, the treaty seeker, these doors to unbar. Can I open it? Do I need to be Ash? I might need to be. Hang on. I don't know if Ash is technically the treaty seeker. Yeah, it's got a sword like thing on it. I don't think I don't think me being Ash is gonna help. Look it up, because I don't know what to do. Like, yeah. Ah, okay. I thought it had something to do with the Dawn Shard. Which may not believe me, but that's why I had. I'm pretty sure I have it on both. It. Oh no. Do I, do I have? Whoop, no, I might not have it actually equipped on both of your. I do. Okay. Yeah, I have the. That's why I poked with him instead of on your on your active character. Didn't. Wasn't. Yeah, I was both of your when I went and touched this. Maybe not this. Maybe the door. Or the this shrine, the thing. I actually only glimpsed at it. Maybe. I guess I only had Ash try the door, didn't I? All right, let's try the door again. Yeah, that's why. I, well, I I guess I poked the waystone with with both ear. And that 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 doesn't necessarily need anything to do with the dawn shard. Oh, this is the is this the wrong side? I think it is. Waystones work no matter who you are or what sort of jewelry you have equipped. All right, thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, again, I will do my best uploading these regularly every other day. Uh, I can't promise anything because it will uh, double my upload schedule essentially, obviously. <laughs> um, so I'll do my best though, um, and you know, this was an earlier video, so this video and the next video were from four months ago, and uh, the subsequent videos after that will be 
me living in the hotel, which I still haven't made a video about. Woohoo. But that's all I can think of. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Um, but this is the part of the video where I say thank you to my patrons. So really quick, I wanted to say thank you to Scalamonger, who was my first patron, who is a sapling patron, and whom I super duper appreciate. Thank you so much for your support. And I just appreciate it a lot. And I want to say thank you to Ree Scalito, who is also a sapling patron and who is super duper awesome. Also, I see both of you commenting occasionally on videos and it really just warms my heart. So thank you so much, Reese and Scalamonger. I appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special thank you to Christopher, who is somebody who, at least on Mass Effect, <laughs> comments on every video. And it really, no, it's amazing. I love it. Like, it's some of the highlights of my day when I go through like people's comments and respond. So um, thank you so much, Christopher, who is a tree tier uh, patron over there on the old Patreon. Anyway, um, thank you to everybody for watching. I really appreciate it, and I hope to see you all in the next one.